Are you a South African musician trying to figure out how to register with Samra? Welcome to this episode where I plan on demystifying just that. Now Samra has changed their website and a few things on how to register with Samro. So this video is an update on that. And to show you step by step on how to register, I'm gonna head over to my PC and show you step by step how to do that. But before I do that, don't forget I have a Samro registration guide on my website. So you can get that if you don't have time to watch this video, skillmusicsa.com and you'll get the guide there. Let me head over to my PC. The first thing you do is head to the Samro website, samro.org.za, or you can simply Google Samro and then go to this website. Once you're in the website, right at the top, there's a tab that says creator. So you navigate to, you click on creator, sorry, and then hit the apply, how to apply. And then you click on here, how to apply. Uh, and then when you're on this page, it tells you how to apply it. Now, Samro only does um, digital now. There's no longer forms required and there's a fee of 100 Rand for composers and 500 for publishers. But this video is just for the composers. You scroll down and then when it says under composer, now a composer is an artist who writes the own lyrics. It's a music producer that makes the beats. It's someone who actually writes and notates musical works. Um, classical pianists that write their own um, manuscripts, etc. So you click on apply now. And then when you get to the apply now, it tells you again that there's a hundred rand fee at the top. So the form has five processes and it's pretty simple. So I'm just going to do a dummy version for you to see how it's done. Under title, you can say Mr. or Mrs. You just choose the correct one. If you're a doctor, you hit on doctor, of course, the correct title. So your name can be Joe Soap. I'm just going to put in name is your ID name. So I'm just going to Joe Sandile uh, Soap. Um, uh, then the AKA is your is your artist name or pseudonym. So I'm just going to say Slippery Joe for now. Three Slippery Joe. And then um id type you use passport or id i'm just going to put south african id and then you have to put in your id number so i'm going to put a fake one for now um uh, it's the year it's the month and it's the birthday um, and then some digits um there's not my id number so don't worry in the don't worry about my safety <laughs> and then the year, obviously, you have to put in the same year as there. So it's 1990 that I put in there. Um, 1990, May, the 25th of May. And then you put in your birthday here. Country of birth, South Africa, most likely. Nationality, South Africa. I should say South African, but okay. South Africa works. You put in your gender, which is male in my case, or for, for Slippery Joe. And then you put in an address, um, Slippery Street, Slippery Street, bathtub. And then the suburb, you can put the correct suburb. So I'm just gonna put anyone now, but you find the correct one, right? And then the city you can put in, sorry about that, Johannesburg. I'm just gonna put jo Joburg for now. Johannesburg, yes, yes, yes. And then for postal address, you you can, if you don't have your own PO box, you can put in the same address. Um, let me put this as one, one slippery street, yeah. You could put in the same one. So I'm just gonna copy paste, I'm just copy and pasting the same postal address, suburb, but the suburb is uh, um, T, and then the city Johannesburg. Honestly, wonder why they want this Johannesburg because they don't send anything anymore. Now you send your, you put in your PO box. Um, I don't know, Joe Book PO box. So I'm just going to put in something random. Uh, South Africa, obviously, is your postal address most likely. And then you put in your contact details. So this is your home number. So 011541-6565. You put in the correct home number. And then for work, I'm just going to put in a uh, uh, cell number. 
and then for cell number i'm going to put in some same cell number again and then your email address so info at skill music sa.com info at skill music sa.com okay and then contact person next of kin is the person um if you were to pass away who is the person you'd want to get your royalties so contact person so put in mr mrs whoever so i'm going to put in mrs mr for now and then i'm going to ideally don't put yourself in because if something happens to you then no one will get your royalties so you just put in someone i'm just going to put in child for now and then say contact person name i'm going to say it's um slippery joe is soap so i'm going to say shampoo shampoo so okay and then you put in the email address of that person um i'm just going to put a random one now um info let's music dot com dot com and then the email address on the confirmation site as well contact details you can get that from another place and you can add another contact if you want another next of kin i'm not going to do that process but it's it's the same thing again uh you have to put in a number there so i'm going to just put in make sure these are the correct details because if something were to happen to you then you have to pass them on and then declaration you click on the tick button and then signature you can see when you put your mouse over it so i suggest you use your computer to do the registration because then you can copy me 100 percent you know and then um applicant signature i'm just going to put in this uh, you just drag and you like write so i'm writing i'm trying to write soap yeah that's soap signed on that date and then the date is it says yesterday but it's the 16th oh okay anyway make sure the date is correct um and then you can move on by saying next and then it's going to load uh, it has an issue with something oh zip code 0606 so if there's something missing it tells you by highlighting a grid so my email address wasn't the same on both okay Then you click on next and then it goes to the notification of works so usually if you are a musician you make works so they at least want one notification of work so i'm gonna say joe's song joe's song alternative name this is the name of the song and they only accept one title in the beginning yeah alternative name of the song you can skip that out and then you put in the length of the song so i'm going to say two minutes 30 seconds okay genre of the song i'm going to say i'm a piano <laughs> interestingly enough they allow you put in i'm a piano but in the notification okay leave it for now but in the type of work and genre you put in i'm a piano um and that's okay instrumentation there are three different types of instrumentation instruments and voice that means there's a beat and there's vocals involved instrument solo so that means it's just the beat and then voice solo that means there's no beats but just the lyrics so if you've written lyrics you can say voice solo too you know um if you haven't had if you don't have a song released yet but you have the lyrics for a song then you put in voice solo so i'm gonna put in instruments and voice because the song for me is already recorded performing artist name now sometimes if you're the producer you're not the performing artist so that's why they ask for the performing artist name so in this case slippery joe is the actual performer slippery joe but you put in the correct details here in terms of the rights holders who owns the royalties so let's say there's multiple artists let's say Usandile is one of them and then the role in the song it shows at the bottom says composer slash author or publisher so let's say for this song that joe uh soap is actually uh an author an author is someone who writes lyrics um the, or the person who wrote yeah 
person who wrote the lyrics is the author. The composer is typically the beat maker. And then if they are both, you say composer slash author. So I'm going to put in author for, for Joe Soap. Um, okay, and he's going to take 50% because he is one of the rights holders. Then add another rights holder. So there's another rights holder. Let's say Joe Soap um, gets another person. Now you have to know their full name as per ID. So let me say, um, who can I put in? Uh, George. George Handel or something like that. George Handel is a it's 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 a he's the beat maker. George Handel in this case. So you say composer. Let's you say composer. If he was just a beat maker, let's assume Joe. He was also, yeah. Let's say composer for now. That's the beat maker. Sorry about that. And then they get fifty percent. So the total share must add up to hundred. So we got fifty fifty. That's a hundred. Now if if you have someone who's the beat maker and the author, someone wrote the lyrics and made the beat, 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 this is how you write it down. So I don't want to confuse the case situation for now. I'm just going to put in compo composer. Okay. So I don't ask that question in the comments, please. <laughs> anyway, you click on next. And now this is the deed of assignment. This is basically telling Samro that they can collect royalties on your behalf on a worldwide basis. This one is a quick one. You just sign away. Soap. Oh, no. If you make a mistake, there's a circle here at the bottom. Click on that. And then it erases everything. So let's say soap. I'm trying to type in soap. But I'm struggling. It is worth noting that you should read everything in here and then the parties agree as follows. Sorry, I skipped that step. Make sure you tick over here and then you scroll down and you say next. Member details and then this is basically t showing you, it's a summary basically of the terms and conditions, the suburb, everything that's involved. And then over here, you say you accept the terms. And then over here, you want to attach your ID. So you choose file and then you attach an ID. It must be in PDF and make sure it's been certified already. Um, I have to add something. Now. Don't see if there's nothing in there. But I'll add this one in there. PDF, make sure it's not too big. And then you go to signature, say so. And then you say, wait, not the last step yet. And then you go to part E. The process is very simple. It's go from the, from, the, from the top to the bottom. If there's an error, it will show you, like it's gonna show me now. I figured it would show me that. The suburb, say, deep. Uh, Beacon Bay or something like that. Beacon Bay. Zero six. What was it? Zero six zero two. Yes. And then in part E. So here it shows you that there is a payment that is required. They either want a cash payment or EFT or manual payment of a hundred Rand. So you can click either one. So if you do manual payment, manual options, it shows you the manual options, but I can't submit from this point onwards, or you can do an electric one and then you click on submit. They will send you details via email or there's something that shows up after this process. I'm already a registered member. So, um, I've already registered, so they'll give you the details on how to go about making these payments um, after you click on submit. But I can't click on submit because it's a it's a dummy process. But um, it's a quick process. It doesn't take too long. And then once you get to the submission process, there will be instructions on how to pay the hundred rand that is coming up next. Don't forget to get my Samro registration guide, skillmusicsa.com forward slash Samro guide.